Hello guys, welcome back to another video, this is part 26 on how to build Stampy's lovely world inside of Minecraft. In this video, we'll be working on the balcony terrain, so I think this is the first terrain video we've done on the series, so hopefully this will go well. So let's start by placing one, two, three blocks here, and make it go across until you get to the next oak thing, and... Actually, let's go across one more. So on this last row here, build these two up by one. Put an oak stair there. Two spruce stairs there. And then just, just place another row behind that. So then you'll also need fences. So you place dark oak, spruce, dark oak. On the other side... Dark oak, spruce, dark oak. Up with spruce to the right with dark oak. And another spruce. Same here. Spruce, dark oak, spruce. And you'll need a torch on this one. And a torch on this one. Just like that. Next, you want to place a row of slabs along here. With an oak plank on top of both. And then you can place two more oak planks, just like that, with oak slabs going underneath that one, and we'll just leave it as that. So, you'll need to have two spruce slabs there, a spruce slab there, the rest of these are oak slabs. Let me just double check, does it show the spruce slab from underneath? Yes, okay, it does, it does, it does. So then, after that, you can place a row of oak planks there. Then you can place one more row, which will then go down one. Then you can go forward another row. And we'll leave it like that for now. So that is what the bridge will look like. In fact, let's finish up with the stairs first. So, let me see. Break these three out. Place two spruce stairs, one oak stair. And then that's the stairs. And I'm pretty sure under here it's all correct as well. Yes. So what you want to do now is place a dark oak, spruce, dark oak on the top three. You'll place a torch on the spruce fences on here. Then going down, dark oak, spruce, dark oak, spruce, spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak, with a torch on top of those. So you should have something that looks a bit like that. Then you can build this path by five more. So one, two, three four and five so that's five more rows for that path right there and you can just continue these fences going over um all right so if you get our oak logs you'll need two oak logs there and two oak logs Two oak logs there, just like that. Lantern, lantern. Then place three oak blocks in the middle. For some reason, on my reference, there's a stripped log there. I don't think that's right. But I'm going to double check that anyway. So for now, just place two oak stairs like that. Two oak logs. Spruce fence. Lantern, and just fill in this all here, just like that. So we're getting some decent progress done now. So these stairs will then start to come down. So if you place two blocks just coming down from these stairs, then place another two blocks just like that. Go over by seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like that. And just place two more here. Go down here one more time. 
and then we can start with the fences and the oak logs so two fences and then oak log and lantern then do the pattern down until you get to three left on this one there'll be an oak log and now i'm gonna have to go check the sofa i need to check if that's stripped spruce i mean stripped dark oak or not and if that has a lantern because my reference it does not have a lantern for some reason all right so i just checked that is a normal oak log and that actually actually it actually doesn't have a lantern on it surprisingly i thought that was actually a mistake of mine and it's supposed to have a lantern but no lantern just making sure it's correct on my reference for next time so extend this up by four more one two three four put some dark oak spruce dark oak then spruce fences followed by two oak stairs and then we can put little two oak logs with a lantern under that we need four more stairs so that's one two three and four so and then so basically place three oak logs there and then just place two oak planks so i'll just do it like this I'll alternate between oak planks and oak logs is going up one each time make that simple so that one's just a normal lantern spruce dark oak spruce dark oak on the bottom dark oak we will need a lantern that should look just like that and then we will need these oak planks to go down there like a lot Okay, we're not going to do these the whole way down for now. All I recommend you doing is just get rid of our spruce materials. If you get our dark oak and our stripped spruce wood. From here, you just put spruce, dark oak, spruce. Dark oak, spruce. And then... Two logs... Lantern, alternate between these two, and then bring this down. So this path will go down a lot more. In fact, we'll just do this. In fact, I'll show you how this will go now. So just place, let's see. Sp spruce, dark oak spruce. Dark oak spruce, two oak logs. Spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce. Two oak logs. This one's a bit longer, so pay attention. Spruce, dark oak spruce. Dark oak spruce. Dark oak spruce, two oak logs. Then spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce. Two oak logs, sp spruce. See which one are we on? Spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce. Two oak logs, and then the last one, spruce, dark oak spruce, dark oak spruce two oak logs so then just place lanterns on all of these and then we're gonna have to place so i think it starts with dark oak every time if i'm correct yeah so let's alternate between the fences start with a dark oak fence every time how, how did i get this wrong how did i misplace that come on come on And then just build down these two rows of oak planks. And 
Now this path does continue down there, but we're not going to be working on that in this video. That will actually be for the thing we do after the balcony terrain, which I will say soon. So we'll leave that area like that for now. So coming up here. I think that's all the pathways done as well. So what I'd say we do now. So if we grab our grass block. Come down to this oak right here. And place a grass there. Put three grass behind that. There'll be grass blocks. And then a grass on this one. Then place grass, skip one grass, then just place two grass just like that. So if we get out our, uh, what we need, lily of valley, water bucket, place a lily of valley right there and then, okay, do we not get dirt? Pl replace that with dirt, place in a water bucket. And place a lily pad. The lily pad, this bit here, should be facing that way. But I do not know if I can even do that on here. So, we're just going to leave it like that for now. So, next up, we'll need a 2x2 two two of grass. A birch fence with a lantern on top. And then behind that will be a blue orchid. Then we'll need a pod sole. No, we did we did something wrong. What did we do wrong? Oh, I see. So this has to be all move this all over one, and then break that one out. Place in the pod zone. Then we can place two more grass blocks with a grass there. This one goes back one more. Then behind this spruce log, there should be one, two, three grass blocks. Lily of Valley on that one. This one here should have a rose bush, which we actually don't have. So go ahead and get a rose bush, put it on that one. Then there'll be a grass block there with nothing on it. So that's that little area right there. Then this will be all a part of that yonder water terrain. Which, okay, I'm, let, I'm letting you guys know this now. When it comes to doing the secret base, we will do the water terrain in this whole area. All of this and that little section there, I'll do the water terrain for all of it. So, you're getting water terrain videos. Tr don't worry, I'm making this as accurate as I can. So, let's see. Come to this spruce log. Behind it, place one, two, three, four grass blocks go to the left one now we're going to need a peony place a peony there and a grass there and to the right of this you'll place a grass block in fact you might as well place a grass block there and a grass block there because yet again this is going to be a little water area with your lily pad Blue orchid there. Put a grass block here as well while we're here. And there'll be a fern on that. Grass block there. And this grass block will have a oak leaf. Two more grass blocks. Double tall grass on this one. And that's that for that area. For that bit. So then next stop, we can place two more grass. There'll be normal gra grass on both. Place two more grass, and on top of that, place another two grass. You you get what I meant. Grass block, block, then a grass. Then two grass here with a poppy and... A dandelion. Oh, I have two torches. That's oh my god. So the pop dandelion here, 
the poppy here. Then place two grass there. Goes down one. Two grass there. Double tall grass there. And another three grass. Poppy there. Double grass there. Two grass. Also, I need to stop. This is, I keep going, I press E to get on the menu, and I've pressed the X across it. I keep being told I can just press E, and E again, just to get off the men menu. I'm gonna try start doing that. It's a hot, because I'm used to just doing that, it, it gets hard, but like, I'm sure I can get used to just, instead of just, yeah, it's slower, okay, it's slower, I know. I'll try. So we need the Lily of Valley and the torch. And I'm not pressing X this time. I'm going to press E. There. See? I did it. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Now what am I doing? Lily of Valley there. Torch there. Two grass blocks. Two grass. Grass block there. There's going to be water in here. So just place a dirt block in there for now. Tall grass. Two grass here. Grass. Two grass there. We're going to need a poppy and a gr normal grass. Okay, so that should that's like the first layer of it done. So we're getting some good progress done here. So if we come down here, break out. You can break out these three. In fact, no, should we do it? In fact, no, we're going to do it at the very end, because I feel like it will get very complicated if we start doing that now. So, we'll save it. Two, two grass there. Um, grass on there. Blue orchid on there. And place two grass there. Tall grass on that one. Then another two grass. Get out our oak leaves. Place our oak leaf there. Now, this part, there'll be two, be two dirt there, because we're actually going to need a dirt path. So get a dirt path, two dirt path there. Get some water out, get the lily pads. Perfect. Then, after that, we're going to need three grass blocks. Grass on these two. Two grass blocks grass on this one, three grass blocks, grass on the middle one, and then three grass blocks again, grass there, lily of valley there, and on this end one, do we have it? Yes we do. We're going to need a large fern, and also there will be a, a grass block there. There will be sugar cane on, cane on this, but we have to fill in the rest of the water first. I don't... I don't think you'll let us place it without the water there. Yeah, so. We'll probably have to do that in part two of the balcony area. So, let's see. We'll place two grass blocks back here. Nothing on them. So, then that will take us onto this side here. So, over here... That will, can we place... Let's place a... Oh, we're going to need coarse dirt as well. Not yet, though. Let's place a dirt block there. With a grass block on top. Then after that, we can get out our podzol. Again. As you know, we're going to need oak leaves. Um, do that. Okay. So place a podzol right here. Then a grass block there. Two grass block blocks there. Grass, grass. Perfect. And then there'll be what? One, two, three, four grass. Oak leaf there. Followed by a fern. Followed by a. Do we not have it? An azor buet. Okay, let's go ahead and get that quickly. What don't we need? Do we not need dirt paths anymore? I don't think so. So yeah, place that. That I pressed the X, didn't I? I just went. See, see, see. I'm trying to do it, but it's hard. Okay, it's hard. 
So, then we can place three grass blocks there. In fact, place grass just like how I just did. Get out our oak stairs. Place two oak stairs there. And then we need to play... Hey! I pressed E that time. You saw me. You saw me do it. You can slow down. You can wa watch the evidence back. I pressed E, okay. Two oh, this is the next layer though, isn't it? Oh, it's fine. We'll just do this area. So, place a dirt down there. A dirt there. And the dirt down here. You can place oak leaf there. Get out our large fern to place that there. Two grass blocks there. Place a poppy on this one. And on the other one we need a large fern. Then you can do another little water thing. So water bucket. With a lily pad. Which is actually facing the right way this time. That's nice. Then two grass blocks. A grass. Break out this one. And then place a grass block there. And there's actually supposed to be a oak leaf inside it. For some reason. Not quite sure why, but we'll roll with it. So, that's all of that done so far. So, behind this stair... Actually, it's a bit of a complicated area. So, on the next layer, we'd want to start from this side, I would say. You see, I don't think we're going to get all this done in this video. So, let's see. Let's do as much as we can. So, we'll place two grass blocks there. Oak leaf on top. We're going to have to get... I actually don't have this block. We need a cobblestone... Mossy cobblestone block. To place there, I'm just going to use slabs because I don't have the block on me. Then, a grass block. Whatever this is called, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it anymore. Because I think I'm getting it wrong every time. A grass block there grass block behind it on this one is going to be a lily of valley two grass blocks there tall grass normal grass might as well do this now as well so place place two grass blocks here then one there that will go down like then we have to make like a little area like that to place in a water bucket. And with that water bucket, we need our lily pad. I pressed E that time. Okay. I pressed E. I did it. I did it correctly. I'm proud. Grass block. Grass. Podzol. Two grass there, followed by a grass there and a grass there. Yet again, I'm not working on this area yet. We're gonna do that at the very end. So then, come over to this side. Where should we do this? Where should we start this from? Let's start from here. So we'll place a dirt there with a grass block on top. And place two grass. We're going to need an and in sight stair to go right there. Place two grass there. Mossy cobblestone block followed by a slab. We're also going to need an and in sight wall to go right there. Place another stair there. I actually don't know what goes here. Let me check. Because it's, it's covered by the stair and something on top. You can just, you can just place dirt there. All right. I'll just follow the reference. Place a dirt block there with a mossy cobblestone slab on top. Or in fact, just to make this look better. Just, just place all mossy cobblestone in there. Why not? Because I think that's probably a bit more accurate. Pressing E this time. Alright, cobblestone... Spruce trap door. And then it starts to go on to the next layer. 
all that we can do. There's a block there. No, no. Block there. A block. There's two blocks there. Place a fern right there. And here you can place an and in sight stair. I think, oh, I think we're literally going on. Yeah, we're going on to the next layer now. I can tell. There's just one thing that I will quickly do in this video, since we do, in fact, have the time. I mean, not really, but I'm just going to do it anyway. If, you, if this works. So when it when we have to do the underwater terrain, right? Obviously, what are we going to do about this area? Because this is where Googly's Island is. So I'm going to border it off. So I'm going to place like the first layer of Googly's Island just around in this little bit here. Just so we know what we're working with when it gets to the water terrain. And also it might help with a couple builds we'll be working on soon as well. So next to this, you'll place a grass block. Then a dirt diagonal from that. Diagonal with another grass. Diagonal with another dirt. Then diagonal with three dirt. Diagonal with two dirt and one grass. Diagonal with a dirt. Dirt and then a grass. Diagonal with two dirt and a grass. And then diagonal with one, two, three, four grass. There'll be grass on these three. And then forward, you can put a grass on that one. Forward again, grass on that one. You can place two dirt, one dirt, and one dirt on that. So basically, that just borders it off. So all of this area will be like for the underwater terrain, including that there. Although we're just planning ahead here. We're not really doing any underwater terrain right now. So, <laughs> there's a mess over here, I can still see. This will be fixed soon enough, because be this will all be covered in terrain, the fountain, the tree, Stampy's hot buns will be around there somewhere. So, it'll be good. Okay, it's all going to look perfectly fine when it's done. Like, we're doing some nice progress. Like, over here, another little small thing you can do to prepare us for a future video. So over here is basically going to be where the slime farm is. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I was going to show you a bit of something to build over here. But when you think about it, we have to do a part two of the balcony terrain. And if I start getting a bunch of different blocks in my inventory, then we're I'm going to have to spend a bunch of time getting the same blocks back. So we'll leave it at this for now. We've started the balcony terrain. We've done some decent work in this video. So in the next video, we'll be finishing off the balcony terrain and i hope you always enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time bye guys